thanks for watching. This is Linda Bartolucci with InkStampAndScrap.com. A while ago, I posted this sample on my blog, and a lot of people have asked exactly how to make it. I posted the pattern, but today I thought I'd show you how you can make this cute little gum holder. A little pack of gum slides right inside, and then you just tuck the tab right under whatever you decide to stamp on the front, and you're ready to go. So, let me show you how I put this together. Here's the pattern that I used. A little easier to see if I put this on top. You can see I used the decorative label punch to make the little scallop here. And this starts out as a six by seven piece of cardstock. And when I um, make my patterns, I always try to um, also show where I need to put the sticky strip. It just helps I can just grab this out of the drawer and put one together fairly quickly if I need to. So let me show you how um, I scored this and put it together. So we'll start with our six by seven piece of designer series paper. This is from the Howl's Tooth and Scaring Bone pattern that is in the Holiday Mini. And I'm just gonna score it just like um, I laid out on the template. So I'm gonna score it at two and three quarters using our Simply Score tool and three and a quarter. Then I'm gonna score it at six and at six and a half. I'm going to turn it on its side and I'm going to score it at half, four and a half, and five. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just fold those scores nice and tight. Now I need to cut this. So I'm gonna pull my pattern over for me to see, and I'm gonna take my paper snips and I'm gonna start cutting. So I have, um, I hope you can see there's a larger piece here than there is down here. So this is the bottom where just the half inch is. There's a little um, square over here. I'm going to just cut that off. And then I'm going to cut up to that first score line along the bottom for the other three sections. And because these little two pieces here are gonna become tabs that go in the box, I'm gonna miter them. And then, there we go. Then what I'm going to do is work at the top, that the one inch piece that's, um, that's scored here. So I'm going to cut the top, this is this right here, this first section on the left when you turn it around becomes the top of the box. So it actually uses two folds. Then the next section I'm gonna cut all the way down, but I only need the top tab to go in the box. So this I can cut away. And then on the third score line, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to cut all the way down. And then I'm going to cut all the way down on this one. But just like the bottom, I don't need that little piece right there. And this tab only needs to go to the first score line. Okay, so now I'm ready to finish it up by corner rounding. When I use the corner rounder, I like to use it upside down and make sure that the corner that I'm rounding goes right into the groove that's made for the corner. You can, hopefully you can see it there, but there is a little corner that it fits right into. If I put it down, you can see now I've got this corner rounded. And then this is the last step. I'm going to make the opening for that tab to sit in. Now I don't need this entire piece, so I'm gonna go ahead and at least cut some of it off. Actually, I'm gonna cut it all the way down, right along the score line. So I don't need those two pieces. And in fact, I'm gonna use my decorative label punch. And what I'm gonna do is line up the center of the punch and I'm going, to what, I'm going to make sure that the punch itself goes right evenly into that one section. I'm going to fold this underneath here, fold this underneath. 
so I can see my score lines. So the punch is lined up even, and I'm right on those two darts. And then I'm just going to punch out half. So as you can see, I end up with it all scored, cut, and punched out just like my pattern. Now my sticky strip goes here and here, and so you don't have to watch that. I've already taken care of it. You want to make sure the sticky strip is thick. I actually use two pieces on the bottom, and then I use one piece right here. So I like to use my paper snips to pull the sticky strip off. Um, what I'm going to do is this needs to go together on this, this makes the box. These two need to line up, so actually I don't want it to stick down. I want to make sure it lines up there and there. There we go. Okay, and now I want this to go... Um, I want this one to fold in last because this one has the sticky strip. So I'm going to tuck my two little tabs in. I'm going to fold this in. And the reason I want this one to fold first, I'll put it this way, the reason I want this one to fold first is this is the front of the project and I want a nice edge here. So I'm going to fold that down and then I'm just going, oops, I'm going to fold in my sticky strip and then fold the front edge over for a nice finish on the front so I don't have any seam showing on the front. Now I've already got my two folds here so you can see it's ready to go over but the mechanics of this is that I need something here for this to tuck into. So I've already taken the um, cute little mummy and stamped him with stays on ink on vanilla very vanilla cardstock and layered it on the tangerine so that's all ready to go. Of course I need to add a googly eye since it's Halloween and they gave us these really fun eyes to work with this year. So I'm going to put that on right there and then I'm just going to use snail. If you're going to hand these out at a class you might want to, or to like a class of kids, you might want to um, use sticky strip. Just make sure you don't go too high with it. You want to make sure that you cover the bottom really well, but you want to leave the top without adhesive so that it can tuck in really nice. Alright, so I'm going to put this right here towards the top. A little bit of the decorative label shows, that's okay. Pinch it down. I'm going to just put my finger in here and make sure that it's nice and tight. And now, I have the basics finished off, and there we go. Now, I need my little handle, and that's the last thing that I need to do. So I'm going to take seven inches of, measured out on my um, grid paper, of the black striped satin ribbon, Oop, seven inches, for our purposes today, I'm just going to use snail on each side. You can use some sticky strip just to make sure that it holds better. And I'm just going to open up the flaps and tuck in the ribbon. Make sure it goes over the flap. I'm going to tuck it in over here. Flap comes through and, oops. For this one, we're going to just snip this flap off. All right. And there we go. We can tuck a pack of gum without the extra sticky strip film. And it tucks right in there. And there you go. So I hope that helps you figure out how to make this cute little gum holder. And you come back and watch again.